Shalom. I'll pray to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kodash Rakah. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone who rule well. And the sense of sight taken to the ark and pushing the truth about the four winds of the earth. Coming at you with a little quick video, because I stay on fire for this truth. So, you know, I just want to feed um, someone out there, if they're listening, you know, some more edification. Just a little quick 10-minute video about how we was delivered from Egypt, okay, and how the Most High Yahweh, through his son Yahweh, shall say he's going to deliver us from Egypt again. Okay, with a strong and mighty hand. I'm going to read this. This is Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, When thou goest to return to Egypt, see that thou do all these, that all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy hand. But I will harden his heart that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Verse 23 And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Okay. Now, this Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8, and it reads, And their dead bodies shall lay in the streets of that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay. Yahweh, Baha'i Shem Yahweh Shah, okay, was crucified here because our people don't know who, who our Lord is, okay, they don't know the name. They calling on this Serapis Christos, okay, this Cesare Borgia, okay, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. Okay, this false image of our Lord and Savior. Okay, that's why he said this is called spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Because Egypt means bondage. Okay, and we back in bondage all over again, man. We've been in bondage. Israel been in bondage through all of history. Okay, but we, but North America, that great kingdom, okay, Babylon, which is spiritual Babylon, the new Babylon, the new Roman Empire revived. Okay, this is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. You got all this homosexual, faggotism, okay, this LGBTQ community, okay, faggots, transgenders, homosexuals, all that, man. So this is Sodom and Egypt, okay? This is bondage and everything else, man, spiritually. So the Most High say he going to send his son to deliver us, man, okay? So this is Exodus chapter 20. Read verse 1. And God said, and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Okay, but Egypt means bondage. Okay, now, you go to, this is the Apocrypha. This is Second Ezra chapter 15. Verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, it's talking about the deliverance, man. After that tribulation, man, going through that tribulation, the Lord say, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn like he did in the old time. This is how you know they're talking about the new Egypt, man. Okay, because the old Egypt was destroyed. 
That's how you know he's talking about the new Egypt. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that God shall bring up, that God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, because ain't gonna be no, it ain't gonna be no harvest, man. For their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hail, and with a fearful constellation. Okay, cause so it, it's gonna be bad, man. Destruction, man. It's gonna be treacherous out here. Okay. But the main point is, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. What do you mean by as before? And will destroy all the land thereof. Okay, because Egypt will destroy with plagues, man. Okay, he showed all his great signs and wonders, man. Okay, just like I just read to you in Exodus chapter 4 and 22. It's Exodus chapter 4, verse 21. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, said unto Moses, When thou goest to return to Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy hand. Okay? The wonders, man. So it's going to be worse this time, man, in this Egypt. Okay? This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And it reads, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, okay, bondage. By the way, wherefore I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more. Again, see what? Our land of Israel, okay, Jerusalem. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Okay? So, this is that new Egypt, man. Spiritual Sodom and Egypt, man. Okay, how we get over here on ships, man, to the new Egypt? You run that back, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Okay, into Egypt again. We never went to Egypt the first time by no ships, man. We walked into Egypt. Okay, he said he would bring us into Egypt again by ships, which is the house of bondage. We would be sold to our enemy for bond men and bond women. That only happened to one nation of people, the Israelites. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. And I will make thee to pass to lock it. Jeremiah 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, that that should no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Ain't gonna no more be said about that. You know about that. That's done and over with. But the Lord, Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh, Shai, live, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again to their land that I gave unto their fathers. Okay? What land of the north, man? North America, man. Okay? Babylon. Spiritual Babylon. This is the new Babylon. This is spiritually Egypt and Sodom, okay? This is the spiritual New Rome Empire revived, man, okay? So he gonna bring us out of the land of the north, man, okay, with a mighty hand. And he gonna smite Egypt again as before, but this time it's gonna be worse of plagues than the first time, man. Okay, this time it's thermonuclear disaster, man. With them intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay, them ICBMs. 
plagues famine, okay? All type of pestilence, man. So it's going to be a hundred times worse at this time than it was before, man. But he said we shall go into Egypt again by ships, okay? And he said he's going to smite Egypt again as before, man. That's how you know this is the new Egypt. So this is this is entitled, okay, the second deliverance out of Egypt. Just a little quick video, man. You know what I'm say? Our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kadash Rakal, double honors to the pots and elders, great millstone, who rule well and a sincere salutation to the occupant. Pushing his truth like the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the lake. Hope someone will edify it out there. Shalom.